Hello, this is How Could It Be? I'm here with level 911 of the back rooms. I was looking for a different level when I found this level and thought it would be interesting to make a video out of it. This level is called Set of Rules. This is on the wiki dot because there are actually two different canons to Two different cans depending on which site you follow, with the first nine levels being mostly the same regardless of what site you go to. But afterwards, it can change. Anyway. Level 911. Some levels are too challenging to comprehend, and some are quite easy to understand. In the back rooms, nothing is ever guaranteed. A sure is never more certain than a maybe. With time, people learn to explore on their own, venture out for themselves, and discover what works and what doesn't, what kills and what heals. This is a case in most environments. Level 9 and 11, 911, poses a new unforeseen challenge. I did not think that through when I said that. Whoopsie. A set of rules that every wanderer has to follow if they want to survive. Met at the end with an, uh, with an unknown re reward of a mysterious nature. Not every rule is easy to understand, and some may not even appear to make any sense. Wherever it is that you gr are greeted with, it must be followed word by word, bit by bit. Level 911 consists of nothing but a lone street with a single hotel at the end of it. The road has a grassy median with trees as in, in one half and the other containing only darkened, dead bushes and birds and grass. On one side stands a hotel, an almost colorless, aged and decayed wooden building. On the other, nothing but fog, which also encompasses the rest of the level. Those who venture into the fog are not to be searched for. If they return, ignore them. They are not human anymore. They are not harmless. Those creatures are lost souls who no longer have a purpose to live. Do not feel bad for them. They lo no longer have emotions. <sighs> Multiple wanderers will be sent to this level if they, they decide to take a specific bus in... I don't know what that is. Said bus will indicate the destination of 911, which, is also, which will also be the number of the bus. The route, the license plate, and the model of the vehicle. Even the bus seats are all numbered 911. The speedometer, the clock, the numbers love repeating itself. It will drive through the streets of unknown until it has enough victims, upon which it will make its way to level 911. The number is 10. No driver is ever present, not that that one has yet had been in seen, that is. Leaving the bus is not an option, as any escape attempts have been deemed futile. All exits are impossible to use, windows do not shadow, or doors do not open, and the war also do not get scratched until everyone has arrived. Why would you? You're probably safer inside the bus anyways. If you're reading this, it means that you're probably standing on, on this empty road, clues about what to do. After all, it never seemed like this, in this article ever existed before. Upon entering, everyone is given a diary. The first four pages of this diary have a specific list of rules that everyone must follow. As for mentioned, that is if you want to survive. Arrival Rules 1. The street is just as lonely as all the those surrounding you. Be nice and leave it before it gets annoyed. 2. Look at the sky and smile. If nothing happens, stay quiet for the rest of your stay. If you feel a cold breeze of air rush against you, you are free to talk with other wanderers. 3. Do not wander into the void. It will consume you.
Four. If you hear whispering, ignore it. Five. Walk up to the front door. Once you have read the arrival rules, you may read the rest of the rules inside in safety. The fog is getting impatient. <sighs> Base rules. One. You are the only vis visitors. Everything else is not human. 2. Everyone shares the same bedroom. If there are more than 10 beds, something is guaranteed to be roaming during the night. 3. The carpets like to make wanderers trip and fall. If you see it happening to someone else, you must laugh at it. If it happens to you, you must not get up until someone passes by. 4. The door to the basement should always be closed. If it is, is open, and the air suddenly gets cold when you stare at it, run to the living room and wait a few minutes. Otherwise, if the air remains the same, close it immediately. 5. Sometimes the TV in the living room will turn on. You must not turn it off, no matter what it may play. Some of the movies here can be very gruesome. 6. There are many still errors in the hotel. If any seem similar, do not walk up the stairs. 7. Two dogs and one cat are always present. The dogs will always walk together, and the cat will be following them from afar. If the cat is saying, still, oh, someone has died recently. The dogs are eating the body. If the dogs are not followed by the cat, go find him. He sometimes gets lost. Day rules, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Everyone must place their belongings in one. Everyone must place their belongings in the closets inside the bedroom. Anything that is not put there will, will disappear. Two. Bedtime is between at 9 p.m. and 12 a.m. If you are not in the bedroom by midnight, the door will not open for you. Three. Should you be hungry, the, door, the kitchen will have meals prepared for everyone from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Do not walk into the kitchen at any other hour. 4. Do not let the dogs in the bedroom in, in the bedroom during these hours. You are recommended a, a to instead let the cat inside. He is thought to be a lucky charm at times. 5. The bathroom is unusable during these hours. If a water is present, you may use the rest as of the bathroom. If the bathroom room is empty, close the door after you enter. If you are showering and notice that one else enter, ignore them. Only come out when they leave, human or not. Night rules from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. 12 a.m. being midnight, of course. 1. Screams are your friend. If the screaming stops, everyone must compensate for it until it comes back. 2. If you wake up and someone is missing, check the temperature of the bed. If it's cold, that person has died. 3. Everyone must sleep for at least one hour. The nightmare is like enough room for poetry. 4. If you stare outside the window and the sky is red, immediately go back to bed or in sleep, or pretend to. No matter what you hear in the following minutes. If the door to your bedroom opens, do not move until you hear it close again. Let me look if anyone is missing. 5. Ignore any knocks on the door. They are not good sleepover buddies. 6. Do not walk outside the bedroom until 6 a.m., no matter what anyone or anything tells you. Morning Rules 1. If you wake up before anyone else in the morning, immediately wake someone else up. If no one seems to respond, go back to sleep until you wake up again or you're awoken. 2. Breakfast will be available for everyone, even those who are dead. Do not eat their food. 3. The dogs and the cat will also be eating during this time. Do not disturb them. If the cat stayed with everyone in the bedroom during the night, you may pet him. He saved you without you knowing it. 4. 
Only go upstairs to grab your your belongings and leave. If you do not leave until 12 p.m., you must stay inside and until the next day. Enjoy your stay. And don't forget to leave us a, a rating. <sighs> that was as backrooms level on 911. I know that today I did have planned SCP 6666, but it's a really long SCP and I unfortunately don't have the time to read it today. I'll have to try tomorrow if that it's possible. If not, then I'll go back to backroom stuff because I know I will always have time for this. And also, I have been neglecting my bathrooms, my back rooms, massively. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel.